Hello the unfortunate audience, my name is Oloterio and welcome back to Dial Tower. Last time, um, we got shot by Bigfoot basically, and then we decided, you know what, maybe being a villain isn't the best idea. So now we're trying to be good and get Bigfoot citizenship so that he can work an office job, so that he can get us money, so that we can go to the fun fair, which is convoluted as hell, but well, why the hell not try it? And now we're in the government building of a mayor who hates us, and we are trying to convince her to give a Sasquatch, a person who's a, a mythical creature, citizenship. Which I can only assume would go down well. Now let us continue, shall we? Which means you've got a few minutes to kill. Now it's a tell me a story. Once upon a time, there was a green cryptid named Pornstar15XX3. He got a job. The end. I don't like that ending. Tell me another story. Oh, for the love of... I'm tired of babysitting you. Please find something to preoccupy yourself with so I may rest. <laughs> oh, come on! Why is this the first option? You know I have to pick it now! Why wouldn't I, brother? Oh, come on. You know I'm gonna pick this shit. Oh, spray. Dear Lord. Oh, oh my. Why would you? Don't shame me. I can't control it, man. Yes, yes you can! I heard you say that it's uh, often voluntary. Hehe, <laughs> funny. The office reeks now. Yeah, nice. Not nice. As Tango for cleaning supplies before the mayor gets back. I don't need no Tango. I can, I, oh, I sort of, I thought I could do it again. Oh dear lord, this is the shittiest thing ever. Inspect the rug. Huh, rug. Rug. You think there's something under it? I strongly doubt that. Should I lift it just to be sure? I think you'd struggle to lift it since, you know, you spread all over the place. <laughs> this spray takes practically super close to the ground now. <laughs> Wait, so it's like a fucking crazy glue is what I squirt out? What the fuck? Whack! <laughs> Still though, deterred I am not. It's lifting time, sweet cheeks! I told you to stop saying that, B but you said, I said you could lift the rug, not that you could say that. You always make it weird. <laughs> oh boy. Did I do it? There's nothing under the rug. Why am I disappointed? I mean, yeah, of course there wasn't anything under there. I feel like if there's nothing under the rug, we shouldn't have been able to lift it up. Maybe the real treasure were the rugs we stole along the way. Don't steal the rug. You, I, it's already rolled up in my arm. I can't, man, and she's coming home with me. Don't gender the rug, why not? You'll get attached. Oh God, every option I choose here is only gonna make this place worse, isn't it? There was no good outcome to this. I was always gonna fuck the place up. You're looking for lore clues on who the mayor of Dowtown might be? I'm hoping there'll be loose, single wrapped boiling bold candy on the mantelpiece. You're a disgrace. Shut up. The hell? Well, you see boiled candy? Nary a sweets of four mine goats. Well, that's it then. Let's. Points of 15x63? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? 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 What the fuck? And by God, when I'm done, the whole world will share my dream too. Wait a fucking minute. Porn's of 15x63, are you okay? No, I wanted a bowl of candy or a wrapped peppermint, damn it! Oh, is that it? You seem kind of fixated on it. I don't care about the painting! Fancy, smancy, friends, pictures are cringe! Four seventeen x x e. Keep your voice down. Or what? Huh? Fuck! Did you just hear that? Is was that a? It's not like it came from under the desk. What the fuck? Oh, God! No, I know this. Oh, how cool! He thinks it's the mayor. No. I fucking knew it. That's because I am the mayor. <laughs> Jesus! Fuck! What the fuck? What the fuck? Cat, cat, Wonder Man, cat, cat. 
Get out of it. Get it out of your system. Hairball wins. I don't believe we have the pleasure. I had the great misfortune of meeting in person. But, before we continue, why are you holding my rug under your arm? N no, I'm not. You clearly are. Shit, that never works. <laughs> Why would you keep saying it? Listen, on the off chance that it does work, I win. And what's with all the green goop on the floor? Did you? I sprayed. Sorry, sort of just happens. Are you? No. Ha. Ah. Again, I am Mayor Mingus, Dial Town's beloved mayor. Once again elected to my current office by an overwhelming majority of the masses. Eternally and hopefully at your service. Oh come your heart oh, come on, you're hardly eternal. That beam was art. Your fake smile was excellent. It brings me to considerable pleasure to see that my talents haven't gone completely unnoticed. Public appearance is everything you know. The smile is but one of fancy out of the skill set. If I were to look upon the paupers of the Sispit Town with the true disdain that I feel for them plastered across my face, well, I'd still win after running my running my opponent's votes through my paper shredder. But I'd think, but it'd look comparatively sketchier, wouldn't it? I have to have to have some illusion of choice, right? I suppose it's easy to smell good when you have the mouth. I'm sorry, but smile well. Look, I know I cut education across the board, but yeah, great. Hey, speaking of your mouth, why is your head like that? What the fuck's wrong with this whole thing? I've only seen pre-dial up cat heads and old picture books from wee toddlers and the like. Well, you see, someone tried to re-teach me the alphabet once unsuccessfully. <laughs> Well, I, I ended up just memorizing the first two numbers and then mumbled rap the rest. <laughs> first two numbers? Do you mean letters? Are you trying to say letters? Yeah, word numbers, whatever. <sighs> if you must know, I had this head genetically engineered by our top scientists just for me. Why? Being part of a cat makes me more agile, and gives me cat-like reflexes, which is a surprisingly significant boon when you're trying to run a whole city. Normal human, eh? Even a genetically engineered badger person couldn't fathom attaining my multitasking skills. <laughs> also, it makes me cuter. Who wouldn't vote for a cat? A dog? Well, dogs don't vote. And with an attitude? And with that attitude, the legislation they need to vote will never pass! Yes. I have a hell of legacy to live up to, so if that helps that I'm a cat... Shit, I mean feline woman! Fuck, I mean a pussy person! Oh, phone god, that's way worse! Clitoris! Damn it! Please pretend I stopped talking after the word cat. And you must be porn star 15 xx 3 Hey, how oh no, how oh no me? Why do you? You were definitely someone coherent mere months ago. Shut but yeah, continue. Well, this is the only person I have to say that actually questions us at all. Other than, other than, uh, fuck, I forget his name already. The dude from the cinema. Damn, Oliver who's actually questioned us about our behavior in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I'm quite I'm written you quite a number of letters regarding that makeshift sure tome that you've assembled on Daltot's public property. Ah yes, me pork tent. Ah yes, your pork tent! Good lord, I figured my officers were exaggerating or someone had off pepper strayed themselves before inspecting you when you described the hue of your skin and the Fucking Christ, what the hell's wrong with their nipples? What, what does that- what does conspicuous- Put a shirt on, I'll give you a shirt! I'll give you a free Vote Mingus t-shirt if you never take all it off in public! You advertise- and advertise your next mayoral campaign for free? Pay me a ton of dog food and I'll do it! Wait, I'll have to pay income tax for the dog food? 
I'd be kind of bummed if you ate 20% of my hard earned dog food. Oh, for fuck's sakes, man! Good lord! This is what I'm up against! I even sent a hit squad after you and. Whoops! Sorry, I meant to say police officers! What did you just say? How did I wreck? I guess the tent wreaked so badly the hit squad committed suicide. What did you say? Sorry, force of habit. I'm sure they were dressed as cops. T do you often send? And you scared them off? Spook their ma attack mods with their tense pungent odors. Odors? I prefer to think of them as intentionally cultivated aromas. Shh, shut up! I have a bargain for you. I will give you a free apartment and eight tins of dog food if you leave the park. What's to stop me from taking the dog food and just returning to my old tent? I will burn the tent! I will reassemble the tent! The tent will be ashes! I will use super glue. You can't! This please cat noises. I'm pretty sure I can. Have you seen my spurs and jizz and juice all along your walls? Touch it, I dare. You'll never untouch it. Okay, change of plan. I'll give you 8,000 in cash, a fast car, and handgun, as long as you immediately drive out of town in any one direction and keep driving in that direction. Whatever happens, happens. Holy shit. I got an idea, all right? Now, if you see this on the news, fucking tag me on Twitter or some shit. I will personally go out, have surgery, and do all of this shit to see if it works in real life. I mean, it has to, right? My deepest apology, crab cakes. Did you just call me? But I'm hitched to this eerie pad, you dig? No, I don't dig, my dude! This isn't totally tubular, except mayhaps your grave if you keep talking like a weird surfer from Mars. Getting back to the topic at hand, what on earth are you talking about? What kind of venture could you possibly be up to that would require you to stick around like this town of all places? Eggs. I plan to lay eggs somewhere in your town. You'll never guess where. I'm sorry, did you just say you're planning to lay eggs somewhere in town? Is this something I need to deal with? Guess, guess what I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna be a Papa Maymore. I should have sent him the hate squad. You know they wouldn't win. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Should have been the hate squad first try. Why on earth do I keep taking half measures? <sighs> oh, right, you're still here. Yeah, why would I leave? Hey, I want to ask you. I could practically, you know what? This office looking pretty nice with the green, with the green squirting all over the place. Mind if I just take it off your hands? I could take over, and, bro. Why am I ever losing in any scenario? I could. I, why am I living in a tent? I could be living in here. I don't think this guy would like to stay here after I fucking squirted, squirted all over the place. So I was over at the fireplace and ah, you must have been examining my painting. That's my grandfather, you know. Callum Crown. The world wasn't always the way it is right now. Oh no. The first ever voted was my not papa's invention. It was a self-made man and a visionary. After taking his phone at Reg Reg Regino, he became mayor of Dowtown before becoming a Senate state senator and eventually our nation's greatest president. Quite a legacy, huh? Every day I wake up, stare initially into the ceiling, and hope to live up to the even a fraction of his greatness. But he's not mayor or president anymore? No, we tragically lost my grandfather years ago. But his legacy has far been from forgotten in the lands of the forgotten. I stumbled my fucking words, holy shit. Can I show you something? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, I can kill you if I, if such when I so desire. I don't think you can. Uh, then, uh, why haven't you yet? I found this in a box of all things that belong to my girl. No! Answer the question, pussy! Why don't you, huh? Because you can't! You can't kill the sixth nipple fucking man! This god-built man! You may not like it, but this is what the ideal human... Peak physique looks like Ugh. a lovely relic from a much simpler time. There he is, right in front of the crowd. He was truly a man of, of the people and for the people. 
That's technically every president, my dude. But was he a man in the people? Around the people? Quiet, you. Wish you were here. Downtown 1966. Oh no, my earbuds. Huh? That, uh... Do all postcards utter highly reverberating narrations as you read them? Yeah, we're disease. Right. <laughs> yes! You know, that cat's the spitting image of you. Yeah, well, had to model my head off something, didn't I? Not many cats walking around with flesh as today are where? Nah, I guess not. Say, did I fade a text on the back? What's it say? Oh, it's just an old- oh, Fuck off, phone. What do you want? Someone's live streaming. I don't care. Oh, it's just an old love note from my grandfather wrote for my grandmother. Ew, yucky cooties pass. Yes. This postcard actually gave me an idea to run for mayor in the first place. This photo truly is a historical testimony from a better time. One day, I will clean up the town and perfectly recreate this postcard. This time, my grandfather's legacy. Yeah, wow, this is advanced toilet paper. <laughs> a potential fecal tapestry. How, how dare you? How, you, you? <laughs> Why on earth did you bring up the painting if you weren't interested in discussing it? I didn't bring up the paint your up uh, your painting. You did. I brought up the fireplace. Well, why else would you have been fixing in the fireplace for so long? What else of interest could have possibly captivated you for that length of time? I wanted a rat to boil candy. Wanted to see if you had a few loose ones lined up in there. Are you serious? I settle for a piece of marzipan at this point. Okay, I'm going to give you exactly 10 seconds to explain why you entered my office uninvited before the claws come out. I want to stamp Bigfoot's half-filled-in, half-eaten immigration papers. Yeah, 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 woo! How you want, but you gotta do this anyways or else I'm not leaving. Every asinine utterance that leaves you gob is somehow unfathomably worse than the last. Every time you speak, I think, yep, he just peaked. There's no way he could possibly stop that. Brother, I've been playing this character for the past 18 episodes. Uh, actually, there's, is there even that many? I don't know. I, I don't keep count anymore. <laughs> and yet. Great, so is that a yes? Are you kidding me? I know this is likely quite a shock, finding out about Bigfoot and all. You think I'm unaware of Bigfoot's presence in downtown? For crying out loud, he constantly loiters around the bank in uptown. He hardly keeps a low profile. Believe me, I am keenly aware of Bigfoot's whereabouts. Wait, wait, you knew? Yes! So why not deport him if he's illegal, <laughs> an illegal Sasquatch? Well, he eats six and fleas for one. He also scares stray dogs away from the woods, preventing downtown from getting hit with another dingo infestation. Wait, what was the first one about? I swear, it's never a fun infestation like Gappy Bower. So you're not deporting Bigfoot? Certainly not. It's a no-brainer. His presence is a net positive for downtown's ecosystem. So will you sign Bigfoot's papers then? Mmm, that's risky. What if he files for a passport, then flies to Cuba and gets arrested? It almost definitely make international headlines and ruin Bigfoot for all future generations forever. I don't understand. Why would he fly to Cuba of all places? The whole point of Bigfoot is that he just goes around the world's motion blur ape. Only temporarily joining forces with an occasional human child of Bigfoot's choosing in order to take down a greedy corporation taking deforestation way too far. With a possible musical number at the very end of the film. What? That's the very essence of Bigfoot. So, you're asking me for a sizable favor here. Okay, I give a fuck this. Back to the woods I go. Just see. No, 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 then we are at an impasse. Unless you would like to make, say, 
a sizable donation towards the financial upkeep of the Altans infrastructure. Donation? Financial? Infrastructure? Dial Town! Why did you emphasize the last one? We are literally in Dial Town. No, 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 no. I think you must understand, Your Majesty. I meant I actually just wanted to shamelessly bribe you. I got that. I was giving you the opportunity to. You are a moron. <laughs> I can't go through with this. You'll somehow settle down, show me down the river by blurting something out the wrong person. Too risky. Oh, come on, don't be picky. You're right, I would totally would. I'm not to be trusted. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Hang <laughs> <Gone>. on. <laughs> I fucking love this game. <laughs> the backwards logic always works. You just stated that you aren't to be trusted. Honey doll, your majesty, that was the old me from five seconds ago. Don't call me! Look, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Not for any amount of money. You think I have money? I haven't attended the party, you fool! Why are we even having this conversation then? <clears throat> I'll give you a stick of horse jerky. You want me to jeopardize my whole career for dried horse flesh? Wait. Is... is it any good? Wait, no! No, rats! Please leave my office at once. I'm a pressing nap to return to. Oh, God. <laughs> you could be nicer to me. Radio, radio, surf mama. Time for the me to lick on you split. Thank you for your time, your majesty. You were of no help at all. And no, uh, we're going, uh... Fuck, I... All of these would make me leave, so I might as well piss her off. Um, radio, surf mama, time for me to legally split. I will call the hit squad! You and everyone you know will be riddled with bullets! Do you want to be switch cheese? Well, do you? Cheesy is groovy, man. I'm chill with the vibe. Leave! Kawabunga radical, catch you on the next wave, dude! Why does everyone here hate, <laughs> hate surfer dudes? Stop saying such things! I love this game. <laughs> Pissing off marriage is my favorite pastime. That was a disaster. Yeah, it turns out I suck at politics. You suck at conversing with humans. No. Yes, this is precisely what I meant. Either way, with the bat bridge dis doused with metaphorical gasoline instead of flame, you are now unable to legally integrate Bigfoot into American society. Pfft, who cares? I'll integrate him on my own. Buy him a fedora. A high-vise jacket, bring him into the supermarket. He can ride around on a mobility scoozer. Gaze upon the shop's many varieties of cereal. You will get Bigfoot deported. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes! My job is I don't live in breed! Porn style 15xx3! How have you been, my good old fellow? Have you had a bully day thus far? Less bully day and more of a day of bullying. Yeah, very unfortunate indeed. You have my dear sympathies, Monsieur. Life can be truly spontaneous, I think you'll find. Are you aware that there's a place you can go that's far less untraumatized? What the fuck does untraumatized mean? Your old exhibit over at Downtown Zoo. We miss you dearly, you know. With all due respect, I hope you die in Hipple's anus. Does my old pen at least have Wi-Fi now? No, I hope you die in Hipple's anus. In this curious scenario, have I been swallowed by the whole, but whole by the hippo and passed through its digestive tract or simply been sat on? How you end up rammed in the hippo's asshole is your business, bitch. Say. That. That odor I smell come from you. I know that pungent musk anywhere. Yeah, it's a nothing. It's a yeah, I stink. So what? Precisely. Stink of Sasquatch that is. Uh, no. Monsieur, do you try to deceive me? Well, I'm trying my darndest to. Yeah. I knew it. You find my darling Bigfoot. This is truly Montaigne's day. 
Your darling Bigfoot? Are you and Bigfoot acquainted? Why, well, but of course. This may come as a colossal shock to you, but the escaped mystery specimen over at the zoo? That was none other than the Sasquatch himself. Wait, are you telling me Bigfoot and I were neighbors that I didn't even know? Precisely, yes. I've been lied to all these years. But here for that introduction. You know, I actually came to town hall today to request an increased allocation of resources in the effort to recapture Bigfoot. <laughs> money. I wanted more money to employ more ape fauna bounty hunters. All right, sure, ape bounty hunters. Ape fauna bounty hunters. To be clear, that bounty hunters themselves are not apes. Why? That would be as futile as it'd be absurd. Hmm. You're still picturing. I'm still picturing monkey mercenaries. Yes. Well then, on to the business at hand. Business in my green wheel stumps. I believe that you and I have both found ourselves in advantageous positions. After all, you and I both yearn for that which the other has. Whatever this is, I don't want to hear it. Do you have horse jerky? No, I don't want to hear it. Oh, but I think you will. No, I don't. I literally just said, for you see, I have something that you yearn for. Perhaps above all else. Get gravel? Money! You are trying to use someone as a financial means to an end in order to access the fun fair, yes? Who told you? Why, today is no paper, of course. The news, daily news. Fellow only need a hand, call a hotline at eight. Hey, yo, I know that dude, that's Randy. <laughs> hey, Randy, how about I shove this eggplant up your ass? Huh, slow news days. Now then, on to all terms. I'm willing to offer you a crisp $50 bill in exchange for the immediate relinquishment of Bigfoot. What? Sasquatch! I will exchange $50 for a peaceful and swift acquisition of the old Squatch. $50? For Bigfoot? Precisely, yes. You can't possibly expect me to give up my one true love. Now, now, enough of that. You can't allow silly things like emotion or empathy to cloud our judgment. I'll explain this in simple terms, Green One. I may have human money mercenaries, the mayor's feline here, etc. But do you know what I lack? Bigfoot's trust. Judging from the adorous potency of Bigfoot's must coming off you, you must have come quite close to Bigfoot indeed, eh? Have you, uh, have you felt the Sasquatch caress his fur? That's private! You have caressed the Sasquatch! You see, this is just what I need, a green dude fucking a Squatch! As you have no doubt noticed, Bigfoot is both skittish and slippery, which is precisely why he has remained so elusive to human researchers. Yeah, he do be running, alright. But if you were to, say, agree to coax him back into the confines of his old enclosure, then I'd have my mystery exhibit back in no time. I refuse here today to send it further. Be gone for me. End the conversation prematurely. Um, I know this is gonna lead to some bad ending or something, but you know what? Uh, I don't know. Let's just keep. Let's keep talking. I don't know. This kind of sketchy. Are you sure this isn't a trick? You want me to betray Bigfoot? That's awful. This is literally a sin that no human could commit to there. If I won- I wonder if there's an extra circle of hell just for this one sin. Is capturing the elusive Sasquatch not worth the travel trivial risk of damnation? Look, how about this? For $75, I'll give you and Bigfoot a shared exhibit. You can be advertised as Grongo, husband of Bigfoot. With all due respect, I hope you die in a fire mustache, man. If I want to marry Bigfoot, I'll do it on my own terms. Ah! But you can't afford to turn me down! You need this money, green one. Well, I've got a plan to, to use Bigfoot for... What plan might that be? To domesticate Bigfoot? 
The door in the uh, tie on his neck, slap a hat on his head, and attempt to get him a nine to five job. What shameful and yet also shameless lie? What n no? What a ridiculous theory! You are truly horrendous, lie, my green friend. Fuck this! You'll see. I will domesticate Sasquatch. You'll see. You all see. I very much doubt that, seeing as you can't even domesticate yourself. I'm. I'm fair my choice. <laughs> You're naked at this very moment. In the last 10 seconds, you literally tore your own pants from your buttocks and silently devoured them. <laughs> they were tasty. <laughs> Scuttle off in the vain hopes of locating Bigfoot. <laughs> in all fairness, jeans do be tasting nice. <clears throat> I love the texture. <laughs> Alright, locate Bigfoot. Gotta find Bigfoot. You think he might have just returned to where you last saw him once he calmed down? Trust me, he hasn't. Bigfoot has the instincts of stray dogs that's been spooked by fireworks going off. He's gonna keep running till he drops from exhaustion. Or gets distracted by some delicious smelling street meat. Sounds like we're in over our head, Ven. We're gonna need a specialist to track down Bigfoot. Can I just say, this has been the longest first fucking day I've ever had. No day has been this long. This is the first day and it's lasted like three episodes. Or someone with the map of every hot dog card in the city, at the very least, if Bigfoot's truly as easy swayed by the scent of street meat as you claim. A specialist. On all things weird. You know such a man? Well, of course I know him. He's me. Wait. Ah, shit. Back to square one. Alright, plan B. Bigfoot is skittish and afraid of loud traffic. Therefore, I'll just check behind every unlocked door in the city. I run into him eventually, like crawling in some type of closet. Truly foolproof, yes. I'm sure this can only take a few minutes, maybe seconds at best. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Hi, Oliver. Hey, 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 sir! I hope you're having a gnarly day today. The name's Swift. Oliver Swift. Welcome to Downtown's Movie House. How can I make your visit to our humble film abode a groovy one? Oh, this place seems damp. Promising. Maybe this place must could have... Sorry, let me explain. Play it shopkeep. Take your time, sir. You're actually my first customer of the day. Ah, shit, really? Only me? Real shit, yeah. Trap, crud fuck. I've reached another dead end. This is, this is awful. Finally wretched. Say, what's the matter, friend? You want me to get you some consolation popcorn? Popcorn? May have to pop soda poppy? No, I'm, uh, I'm looking for a good friend of mine. I've checked almost every other business in the city. No sign of him. Well, like I said, you're the first person to set foot in here today since we've opened. But hey, maybe you can give me a physical description of your pal alongside your phone number. <laughs> and that'd be gnarly and tubular, bro. That way I could call you to see if I see him. Do I look like I can remember 10 numbers in a specific arrangement? You look like you drink lead paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scratch that, I'll send you a letter then. I can't read. Well, I send you a carrier pigeon. My musk would kill it as soon as it made contact. Hey, hey now, I didn't say that I needed a carrier pigeon back. Wait. Sorry, uh, this is probably super rude to ask, but man, I gotta know. What is that funky musk coming off you anyhow? I prefer the word obscene rather than funky. <laughs> It honestly smells like fur, a bit of swamp, just a touch of sand, a smidge of pine tree, a splash of vinegar, and... Bro, what the fuck are you, Gordon Ramsay? Shut the fuck up! Banana, huh? <laughs> All of those were correct. How in God's green earth did you... Hey, I just drink a lot of wine. What the... No, bullshit. I'm not a weirdo or anything. Right? I don't know, dude. If I told you, man, you'd shit. Well, maybe I want to shit. Then use the bathroom, my dude. Ew, disgusting. Why, why did I say that? You're a fucking idiot. Okay, okay, unperturbed, fine bowels. I'll tell you everything. All right, groovy stuff. Go off, then. So, my dear friend, the one I'm searching for around for, uh... Uh-huh, it's Bigfoot. 
Bigfoot is real, and I love him. And he lives here in Dial Town. That sounds like some shit a nine-year-old would come up with. His name is Larry. He's 600 feet tall. And I'm going to marry him when I'm 12. Like, what? <laughs> Bitch, no, you ain't. He what? Yo! I live in the same city as the world's greatest celebrity? Yes, Oliver. You live amongst the Sasquatch. He is among us! <gasps> No way! Yo. Well, I can't say that I've been caught of even a glimpse of Sasquatch in here today, sadly. Or, you know, ever. Have I seen Bigfoot around town without knowing it? I mean, who's the hairiest person you've seen in Dalatown today? Oh, man, uh... There's this old woman who I see at the bank sometimes, and man, I think she has some kind of disease. I keep trying to pluck the courage up to congratulate her on her immense body here, but she has this musk. Wait, you don't think? Huh, I guess that explained the funky ape noises. How the fuck? <laughs> oh lord, I thought she'd just forgotten her false teeth. Not that the camera head would need fu Oh, don't give me that look. I've only got one optical sensor, you know. Sometimes I, I, it misses things. Bank, bank! <laughs> Over my fist for Hercules, I cannot thank you now! Go to him, embrace the Sasquatch! And uh, if you two want to go on a movie date, maybe we could really use the business. No, nope, no, I, I, I won't. Okay, screen's already fading out, that's groovy, sure. He's self aware, he could see this shit? Okay, you know what? Nah. We're not gonna go deep into this. We're not gonna question why Oliver knows that the screen is fading out. We're gonna leave this for next time because we're out of time for this episode. Actually, we were out of time out of time for like eight minutes ago. But you know what? Fuck it. I like to go a little bit over the top when I know something good is coming up. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And next time, we're gonna be meeting Bigfoot, who has apparently already been domesticated and has just been fucking with us the last few minutes. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.